harps are stupid instruments. Faybelle, don't get so frustrated. Why don't you ask Melody for help? She knows how to play every instrument in here. Why do you say that? Just because she's the daughter of the Pied Piper? Well, I doubt she could do any better than us dark fairies. Excuse me, Faybelle, would you like some help? Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, sure, show me how to play this here harp. Of course, that's my job as teaching assistant. Um, may I? <laughs> Wow, Melody, that was awesome. Thank you, Hunter. Alrighty, so you can play the harp. Can you play this here violin? It's been a while since I've played violin. Oh my goodness, you are such a show-off. Faybelle, just because we all think Melody is super talented doesn't mean you have to get envious. She put in a lot of hard work. You can do the same and you'll get good too. Oh, Shaw, envious of Melody Piper, whose fairy tale includes drowning a bunch of rats and kidnapping a bunch of kids. No oh, way. wait, what? You guys didn't know? In the Pied Piper fairy tale, a piper gets rid of a certain town's rat problem. Then, when they don't pay him, he waits until they all go to church one Sunday and then takes their kids away, leading them out of town and into the mountains where they are never seen again. Now this is a real scoop. Melody, is this true? Yes, Blondie, it is. How do you manage to take an entire town's kids away? When anyone of the Piper lineage plays the flute, those listening must do as we want them to. It's like a compulsion. Oh, Shaw, I'd like to see you try that on a dark fairy. Well, if you insist. Whoa, are you making me do this? Why am I walking on my hands? Melody, what is going on? Melody. Uh, I'm flying upside down. Melody, I'm flying out of the room. Don't make me go to the bathroom. Don't make me stick my head in the toilet. No, you made me stick my head in the toilet. <laughs> Remind me never to cross you, Melody. Yeah. I do feel bad about that, but only a little. Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. I hope you enjoyed the little skit, although I definitely don't condone forcing anyone to put their head in a toilet. That was just for humor. All right, guys, let's talk about how I created this Ever After High music room for my daughter's Ever After High dolls. A couple years back, Pinky Girl commented that I should make an Ever After High music class. And so it took me a while to gather all the materials I needed, but I finally got it all done. I started with a cardboard box. We had lots of these because we bought the wrong size. Then I taped up the sides and cut off two of the walls so that I could have a two-sided room. For the carpet, I wanted to use this roll of red felt that I purchased from Amazon and it has a sticky backing. So when you remove it, you can stick the felt to the cardboard. As you can see, I've caused some ripples and I also needed to cut off a second slice and that made a ridge in the carpet. When we moved to our new house, we had to give up a few things and one of those things was the Ever After High Castle playset. But I did manage to steal some of the trees that were holding up the bridge between the two pieces and I'm going to be using those in this room. And now we will begin to make the stage. So to make the stage, we had to measure the exact distance between the trees. So that would define the width of the stage platform. And we used some remaining red felt to cover up that platform. The stage needed four sides. So we measured out four rectangles and glued white computer paper over them. And because they look plain, we will add something to them. 
Yep, we're gonna add this piece of wrapping paper. It is gold and white stripes and I think it'll look very nice. We used Mod Podge to add the gold and white wrapping paper to each of the pieces. And the one in the back doesn't need it because it's facing the wall. So here's our stage. As you can see, uh, we have some seams that we're gonna need to cover up later. For the walls of the music room, we're gonna use this scrapbook paper. But as you can see, we didn't quite have enough and we couldn't get any more because we're in quarantine. So it left an open space. To cover up that open space, we will make a music sign. Yep, so we wrote out music class. And of course, we know that music is not spelled like that, but that's how Ever After High spells it. Also, I found this handy frame in our craft drawers that I had purchased some time ago, and we'll use it as a frame around the sign. We also had some wood grain duct tape, and we'll be using it to create the bottom half of the wall of the music room. So as you can see, we have added it and left a margin of cardboard that we still need to hide. And we will be using, once again, the golden white wrapping paper to hide it. This thing came in real handy. All right, so we have added the wrapping paper between the wood grain duct tape and the scrapbook paper. We've added a sign for Ever After High music class. And because the original frame was very boring, we decided to paint it gold. And we also Mod Podged it. And we put the frame around the words music class, and we're using the trees as a frame around the frame. Frame around the frame, Mommy? Mm, yep. Oh, and then to cover up those ugly seams, we bought a roll of gold leaf ribbon from Amazon, and we're using it basically to cover up the ripples along the walls on the floors on the stage platform and we're also using it to hide the seam of the computer paper and we're going to wind it around the trees do you like it yep i had several of these locker frames in gold and these have a magnetic backing to them which make them really heavy so in order to be able to stick these to the walls we're going to have to remove the magnetic backing I wanted to make a picture of some framed sheet music, so I cut off a piece of sheet music and put it against the glass, and then put the glass against the frame, and then I'll be using hot glue to attach this to the wall. Again, without the magnetic backing. And we also have these music-themed stickers. And we'll be sure to use these too on the walls. I think you should make a bench for the students to sit on. Okay, so I drew a pattern on a piece of paper, cut out the pattern, used it to cut out a piece of cardboard. Now I'm gonna use this cardboard cutout to cut out a second C-shape. And now I have two C-shapes, one for the top where the students can sit, and one as the base for the bottom. I'm gonna be using the leftover wood grain duct tape to cover the bench. I cut out a piece of cardboard and put red felt on one side, and gold and white wrapping paper on the other and bent it a bit so that I could hot glue it in a U shape to the top of the bench. And then I'm going to flip it over and hot glue it to the bottom of the bench. To give more support to the bench, I cut out some more pieces of cardboard and covered them with red felt and hot glued them to the ends of the bench like this. My idea is to have some storage space for instruments on the back of the bench. So I cut out some more pieces of cardboard, covered them with the wood grain duct tape, and then hot glued those along with some more supports into the back. For the past couple of years, I've been keeping items for the music room and collecting them in this bag. You can see that I have a trombone and a metronome, and I, what else is in here? Let's see. I have a tambourine and some maracas and some castanets, and I think that's a guiro. I have a pair of cymbals and also a trumpet. Very cool. And I have this music stand with music on it. I believe I got it off of Etsy or eBay somewhere some time ago. I can't even remember. This really cool harp. I think that'll be the centerpiece of the room. And this is a recording studio from a playset. Wait, mommy, is that from my Barbie playset? It sure is, thank you for your donation. And years ago, I bought this Barbie's career pack with a violin inside. So we'll be using the violin. 
The last instrument I have is this trumpet from eBay. It was supposed to be a 1-6 scale trumpet, but I really don't think it is. I think it's fully half as tall as an actual doll, and it does come with a stand, so even if they can't play it or even pick it up, they can enjoy it in the music room. And now to put the finishing touches, you can see the other frames on the walls. I have the word music and some music notes. I've got the stage. So now it's time to add the instruments. The harp and the music stand will be on the stage as the centerpiece. Let's add the bench, the recording studio, the bench for the recording studio, Hunter's guitar. I put the violin in the trumpet case with some sheet music and there's the oversized trumpet. Now let's add the instruments to the shelves. Let's put the trumpet here. Ooh, this metronome, I love Remint. It has a working ticker. The tambourine, the guiro, the maracas, and finally the castanets. I put a sticker on there to represent sheet music, and we are done. Ta-da, our Ever After High music classroom. Hope you liked it. Let us know what you think in the comments below and stay safe and healthy. Till next time.